Overall, TF2's Halloween events are fine. We get a bunch of new cosmetics and new maps. But every year, I forget to disable Ghost Fort. And Jesus Christ, Marasmus, please. He spawns periodically. The entire game pauses. Both teams need to slowly whittle him down. And when he dies, we need to cap the point all over again. Wasting a huge amount of time and making the game feel like a massive drag. But it's just a matter of perception, right? When we reflect on it, we only remember being irritated by Marasmus, when in reality, he isn't actually that bad overall. So I looked into the code. This is how the game decides to spawn Marasmus. When the round starts, the game randomly waits either 210 seconds or 150 seconds to spawn Marasmus. After he dies, the game repeats the same process. Wait either 210 or 150 seconds, then bring Marasmus back. It continues to do this until level 4, where it becomes even dumber. After you defeat Marasmus three times, Marasmus will now spawn every minute. So how many times might you need to fight Marasmus in a game of Ghost Fort? If we cap with a 2 times capture rate as soon as possible, and Marasmus spawns as soon as possible every time, a perfect 7 minute Ghost Fort game translates to... 3 Marasmus fights. If the game lasts for about 14 minutes, Marasmus can come out, Eleven times, and even sneaks in after the round ends as well. But unfortunately, Marasmus' bullshit doesn't end there. Theoretically, you'd want to one-shot Marasmus as soon as he appears, so he doesn't have time to start hide and seek, minimizing time wasted. So 24 demos, the Scottish Resistance, and 336 crit stickies. A perfect sticky deals about 270 damage, but even with a conservative estimate of 210 damage per sticky, that's 70,000 damage, more than enough to handle his 68,000 health pool. So does it work? With his dying breath, Erasmus somehow manages to torture us with hide and seek one last time. But as soon as it ends, he instantly collapses. Despite what the numbers on screen might tell you, we actually have dealt enough damage to him. If I spawn Marasmus with 196 HP and hit him twice, we've very clearly killed him, yet still tormented with hide and seek. So what have we learned? Goes for more like 5 hours of agony. Oh also, if you check the description on your Skull Island topper, it records the highest level you've managed to demolish Marasmus at, and apparently I've endured 10 levels of this guy. Does anyone have an even higher record? God damn it. <laughs>